Hello guys. Jammer. Um I was stupid, god damn. Hello, hello, hello. Oh fuck. Alright guys. <sighs> hey guys, so this is the video you've God. What's up guys? And I told you. I promised you a tutorial on how to play Pokemon Black and White on your PSP and promised was kept. So, I've already actually recorded everything. This is just the beginning part. I'm going to record telling you everything you need before you begin the tutorial. But it doesn't really matter because everything here I will show you how to get. So, you know, even if you think, oh, I, do, I can't, I don't have that, I might as well just stop watching. No, I'll show you how. <laughs> so, first things first, you will need a computer. It needs to be pretty decent. Uh, you know, at least at, it needs to be at least dual core processor. They don't need WinRAR. It's free, free or program. Nothing, not hard to get or anything. It's just simple download. Um, then you'll need custom firmware on your PSP. Now, I show you how to get it. So yeah, you guys should love me. Uh, so yeah, I show you how to get Pro B10. For any PSP, it's really easy. I actually did it myself because I had Pro B5 before. So yeah, then you'll need PSP Display, which is a program that that's part of the main program that you'll need. And then you'll need Desmium Emulator, not no cache GBA. That one sucks. Uh, it requires cheats, even though I have the cheats, it still sucks. Um, but and but that requires, but that one takes less memory and it's better for a computer that's not as good. But we need the Desmium. Sorry, so that's why I said pretty good computer. And last but not least, you'll need the Pokemon ROM, which I will sadly not give you, but I will show you how to get. And so, yeah. So quickly, I'm going to show you what uh, what we're actually going to do in case you're confused. And you're like, what the hell is this kid talking about? In case you didn't see the other video. So I'm going to show you what we're going to do. This is what we're going to do. As you can see, I'm playing Pokemon Black um, on my PSP Go. We're gonna click that, and you can see it's just to prove. Uh, oh crap! Just to prove it's black, I'll show you my Pokemon. I have a Tepig, Tepig, and I have a just got a message, and I have a Big Meech, whatever this is, Pansage. Yeah. So yeah, this is Pokemon Black, and I'll be showing you how to get this bad boy. Today. So let's go to my computer where I'll show you how to do it. Let's go! Alright, guys, so uh, it's been a while since we've been on my computer, you know, used a screen recorder. But, you know, here's, here's my new background that I have a new one every video. So, um, first off, before we begin anything, you're gonna need to download WinRAR. Yeah, I'll give you this link and you'll just click on English. And you know you'll click continue to download WinRAR and yeah, it'll you know do it. So now we're gonna get you custom firmware. So for this tutorial, I've deleted my custom firmware uh, just so you know I'll be getting it with you guys. So um, first off, I'll give you this link. I'm gonna start up here. Uh, Lite custom firmware 6.xx, which means any six any firmware that starts with six. Um, this is compatible with, and there's only 6.20 to 6.60. Um, so yeah, it works for any firmware, but it's like custom from 6. Point whatever Pro B10 is released. Um, this has been this is a while ago, so scroll down to the bottom. Um, if you don't trust my instructions, you can read those, but I'll just explain it. So you know, download whatever firmware you have. And something I might point out is if you have a 1000 or 2000 and it's 6.39 or 6.60, you have to download something extra. It's a CIPL flasher. And if you don't download this, it will brick. And I'm sorry, but since I have a Go, I cannot show you a tutorial for that because I don't understand it. And I don't have a 1000 or 2000, so I'm very sorry about that. But yeah, so I'm going to download the 6.20B10. I've never actually used this custom firmware, so I I stuck with uh I stuck with um five. I don't know why. And it's because I never after Vita came out, I just gonna you know, stop using my PSP. So what now? Plug in your PSP to your computer USB mode. Um, I have to do it USB mode because I don't have 
That's the firm right now. Wait for it. Wait for it. Making noises. Alright, there it is. Alright, so open for review files. Now you'll see this open up PSP and game. And simply hold on, let me let me delete this stuff. It's like I have, yeah, let me delete this. Give me a second. Oh, we're good. We're good, we're good, we're good. Alright, so you're in so yeah, op, go to the PSP game and open up this, this, and just copy copy everything and drag it into that folder. And go back to there, go back, and just copy everything in SC plugins. Um yeah, you'll have to make it if you don't have an SC plugins folder, just copy the whole folder. But since I already do and I have stuff in there. I just I just took everything inside here and I copied into it. I already did that, so you know everything's right here. Um, version. This is to have a fake, you know, idea or whatever. Uh, so yeah, yeah. So right now, so now that you have all that, you'll uh, whenever we go back to my um, whenever we go back to my camera, you know, I'll show you what to do from there. So uh, you're done with your PSP. You can go out at USB mode. I actually don't go out of USB mode. I just did, but I'm stupid. I'll go back. But from, so now we're gonna get the uh, program PSP display. Now uh, I don't know. Uh, just simply go to the link in the description, and you'll be at this site. Just scroll down past this video. Under the video will be the download link. Um. Sorry. Just simply click on the download link and it should download. After that, you will get a icon in your, you know, start menu. You should at least uh, name PSP disk with the PSP. Now, don't click on that one yet, right? Not yet. Don't click on it. Don't click on it yet. Click on all programs and uh, scroll down to the end until you see P's and then PSP disk. Click on that, and you'll see this copy game file to, P to the PSP. Open that. So now that you, uh, if you're in USB mode, uh, it'll automatically um, find your uh, PSP slash game, but do not copy files yet. What you're gonna do, which I already did, is go to your root, which is the main place, and make and go to PSP and in here make a new file, a new folder called Game XX, like right there. It has, to, it has to have game in it. You can put just game X, but or XX doesn't matter. It just has to have game in it, or it won't, or this won't recognize it. I think. I'm not sure, but just do what I say. It, it'll work then. So you know, game XX, and then whenever you've made it, it'll automatically show up down there in the drop-down box. Then you know, you click on that one and you click copy files. But I already have them, so yeah. Next will be the Desmond emulator for your computer. Now, if you already have it, you can skip this part. So I'll give you the link in the description of you know where to download Desmond, and you'll come to here. So uh, hold on, you'll be here. It doesn't really make a difference, but so uh, don't click on this one because that's what I did. But it doesn't do anything. You'll have to click on download to the right. From there, you'll just click on. Uh, that one, the first one, doesn't matter. I mean, if you have 60 bit, 64 bit, you can. I have a 64 bit, but I just clicked on that one, I think. Actually, I think I'm going on that one, but you know, just choose whatever you have. Either click on this one or that one. Don't click on any one other one. Those ones are just you know, not necessary. Just this one or this one, whichever you have. If you want to check, go to start menu, computer, right click computer, go to properties. And you should see it right there. 64 bit operating system. Yeah. So now uh, that is. Other than that, um, I guess you have to get the ROM. You just type in Pokemon US ROM. And like, uh, uh, Pokemon White US ROM. Just click on that one. It has the link right there right there just yeah whatever just click on that and you'll get it so I'm not gonna put it in the description I'm sorry because I just don't wanna get in trouble for anything 
So now we're gonna head to my computer where I can show you how to install custom firmware, and I'll sh just finish the rest of the tutorial. So peace, or not peace. See you in a few seconds. All right, guys. So we're back at my handy dandy camera, and we're gonna right now we're going to install custom firmware onto our PSP. So as you guys know, I have a PSP Go, and it's pretty awesome. I think it's efficient for custom firmware because you know it has a built-in memory. So go to your game, um, and then you'll have these three folders or files. First off, click on the one that says update. Should open up fine. Nothing, no problems. I forgot to show you that I don't have custom firmware right now, but I mean, yeah, you should believe me, I guess. So now it says Pro B by Team Pro. Click X to launch custom firmware, press triangle to uninstall custom firmware, and L to reinstall custom firmware. So since we don't have it, we're going to click on X. So now we're going to click X again to start custom firmware. For this tutorial, we're also going to add in, we're going to um, make it permanent. And I'll show you how to do that in a second. After we check our firmware. So as you can see, what the fuck? Oh shit. Oh god. I, I never had 10. And it's like really cool. It's pretty sick. But I don't know what the fuck's going on. I don't know how to control. Oh, oh right, shit. Guys. I don't know, but something. Right. I don't know if that was like a custom. I have no idea what that was. Like, it looks kind of cool. And I figured out how to get the system, but I was just so confused. But yeah, so before, um, I guess I'll show you the. Um, my firmware right now and then we'll make it permanent after I show you the firmware so as you can see I have 6.20 Pro B10 so it's kinda of bright, I don't know why 6.20 Pro B10 so now let's go make it permanent because if we don't make it permanent then every time we turn off our PSP um, it'll go back to official firmware so just click on the permanent bootloader open up fine um, now click X X twice and it should load now you should have permanent um, custom firmware per permanent pro b10 custom firmware on your PSP. Now this fast recovery is just in case uh, it's like crap I don't want custom firmware anymore so you click on that quickly or you just click on, click on that it'll start up it'll move your custom firmware by itself and you know you'll be back to official firmware. So now um, you should find this program PSP disp. Open that up and now, we're going to uh, look at our computer, so I can show you the rest of the tutorial. Alright, so, as we have our computer here, whenever, now you're going to have to go back to, you know, where you found that PSP disk thing. Hold on a second. Alright, so, go back to where you had that PSP icon, and click on, open up the program. Um, alright, mine's already open, let me close mine. Hold on a sec. Alright, so, yeah, go back to where you saw the PSP icon and click on it. And right away, you should see something, a little pop-up, and it tells you the IP of your server now with that you're gonna go back look at your PSP and you'll have have the uh, PSP disk open so you'll go to change settings 
use the right stick, you know, to go through the settings. In the second page, you'll have your IP. So as you can see, on the, mine is they're all they all start at the same 1.9192.168.1. It all changes with, with that last number. So mine's 105, and so as you can see there, I have 105. So you change the first one to whatever you have there. Now you can go back and go to use, start using with, see I don't have a plug, so with WLAN, I don't know if that's how you say it, but W-L-A-N mode. It will go through your router right there, and it will begin to load. So as you can see now, my computer is on my PSP. So my computer is on my PSP. And I can control it. So now that you're that far, next thing we're going to need to do is to add the control file. Adding control files is pretty easy. You just go to the where the program's running. Um, you go to control. And you'll go to customize, and then open up this thing. Just click on this top, on this top one. You know, open up a folder, and whenever I give you the download link, the download link, you know, for my control file for Pokemon, you just open it up and paste it in here. After that, you'll click refresh, ref reload, and you're done. So now, open up your Desmu. Make it full screen. So now, before we begin, we're going to go back to the arrow, go to here, and click on display device, and click on display, display properties. Now you're going to click on this drop down arrow, scroll all the way down to 800 by 600, and click apply. As you can see, I can click keep changes. It's gonna look really stretched and shit. Keep changes. As you can see, it looks really fucking stupid. So with that, re reopen. I'm sorry, but like reopen Desmu, because it always messes up if you try to open Pokemon. So you know, re reload Desmu. Now you should have the same. The things I have for uh, Desmu LCD will be one L uh, LCD layout one LCD rotation zero window size nothing screen separation none magnification filter super eagle force maintain aspect ratio or force maintain ratio check mark so now open up Pokemon Pokemon as you can see, you can still see the taskbar in this stupid thing. So, we're going to go ahead. So, for, so, what it is, so to switch between LCDs, you click page down. You can see it switches right here. So, and on the control file, analog down is page down. So, yeah. So now, how to remove the top and this, the bottom, is to click, is to hold Alt and press Enter. So now it's complete full screen on there. After we click around. Hold on a second, motherfucker. Alright, there we go. Now, taskbar's away, mouse is away. Oh, we gotta go up. So, as you can see, complete full screen on there. Complete full screen on our PSP. So there you go, guys. That is how to play Pokemon White or Black on your PSP. You know, any any PSP and any firmware or whatnot. Because I just showed you to get custom firmware. So, um, now I gotta go edit this big ass bitch, all parts.